Bismillah. Once upon a time, in a distant village, an old man who lived with his little daughter, this young orphan girl who sparkled and was full of life, became overnight sad and gloomy. One evening, the grandfather invited him to toast the tea. He knew how to prepare and asked him, What is it, my daughter? Has it been several days since your lotter sounded in the house? The girl's eyes clouded over and in a trembling voice replied, I have no reason to leave. My parents left and I am here with you. But after, are you afraid that I will die and that you will find yourself alone? Is that right? The girl burst into tears and put her head on the lap of her grandfather, who smiled and said, combing his hair with his old fingers, Stay there, calm down, I will tell you a story, like when you were little. The girl lay down and put her head back on the lap of her grandfather, who continued to style the beautiful hair of the girl and says, there was a day when a king, who had planted all kinds of trees, plants and flowers, near his castle, and his garden was very beautiful. Every day he walked there. It was for him a joy and a relaxation. One day he had to go on a trip. Upon his return, he hastened to go for a walk in the garden. He was sorry to find that the plants and trees were drying out. He turned to the once majestic and vibrant pine tree and asked him, What had happened? The pine replied, I looked at the apple tree and thought to myself that I would never produce the good fruit it bears. I got discouraged and started to dry. The king went to find the apple tree. He too was drying up. He questioned him and he replied, Looking at the rose and smelling its scent, I told myself that I would never be so beautiful and pleasant and I started to dry. Like the rose itself was wasting away, he went to talk to her and like the orders, she explained that a more beautiful plant discouraged her and that she preferred to let go and so on. The whole garden was nothing but desolation. Continuing his exploration, the king saw a magnificent little flower in the middle of this disaster. She was completely fulfilled. He asked her how it was that she was so alive. She replied, I almost dried up, because at the beginning I was sorry. I would never have the majesty of pine, which keeps its greenery all year round, nor the refinement and the scent of the rose. And I started to die, but I thought about it, and I said to myself, that if the king, who is rich, powerful, and wise, and who organized this garden, has wanted something else in my place, he would, would have crushed. If so, he planted me. It is because he wanted me, me, as I am. And from that moment, I decided to be as beautiful as possible. The garden represents the world we live in. The pine, the rose, the apple tree represent the human beings, what we are with their difference. The king is God. The morality in this story, you do not give yourself any importance when you compare your physic or your destiny to others, when each of us has a specific role in life, and each of us is where God has it placed. As he finished the story, the old man realized that the girl had fallen asleep with a beautiful smile.